take three, part two. I'm at another beach. I'm on the east side, so the wind isn't as bad as we saw. Here's what's in my pocket right now today. And my knife. Well, you get the camera. There we are. The knife. Of course, I used the knife to cut the rope. No problem. Lighter with duct tape on. Lots of matches. Always had these three with me in my coat. And today, because I wanted to try how this would work, a... I got these last night at the dollar store. Some birthday candles. Right there. And one of these here matches you can get at Walmart find in, and uh, strike anywhere. So let's let's see how this works. So you're on the beach. I'm going to put my I pre-lit my candles at home. That's probably a good idea. I'm not going to use that or that. The rain now will be full of sand in my pocket. Take this. Add that right there. I think it's a better spot. Okay, birthday candles on the beach. Let's see how it works. That lit pretty good. But, went out in the wind. All right. Let's try it like this. Let's light it again. This is when being an octopus would work. All right, that's not going to work right there. The survival situation, I would definitely have my... Uh, I definitely have the wind of, of like this. Oh, there. Oh, almost had it. Just not catch it. Okay, the back in here. Let's try those matches. Yeah, another wonderful dollar store product. It's cork here on the beach. There's a bottle cover, cap, and a wine bottle. I only brought one of those Walmart green matches, so there's the idea. You gotta have more than one. Well, I don't know how to do this. Right, let's, let's give it a try here. Guess I'll get a little sandy today. Oh. Well. Yeah. It's just not catching here at all. So when you're in a survival situation, you've got to factor in wind around you. And, yeah, wind. Oh, of course I got drop seats. And quality. I know we all like to go to the dollar store or Dollarama here in Canada. Because it's cheap, but you know what? You pay what you get there. That was a good one. So obviously I'm having troubles. I don't have a shield, but these matches now, I see a lot of the stores besides the Great Canadian Dollar Store. Not Great Canadian, but Dollar Ammo. Sorry about that. So I want to see how they are. I'm not going to give up on this idea. We will try it again in another video. But that's the idea. You got to get out. I lost my tinfoil. And try your stuff. So you know what works. Because if you don't, you'll never do. Not the best score for the Walmart green fire sticks. It's supposed to be. Now, if I was desperate, I could probably work that better. But well, we've had a lot of rain this week. We've had a week of rain. Before that, a week of snow. Everything is wet. And uh, I'm going to take this back home. So that's part two of today. Always be prepared. Sometimes cheap isn't the best. Know your surround... Oh, there's a cigarette butt. What else is here? 
know your surroundings, know where the wind is blowing, and you got it. That's a big factor in getting your fires going, is the wind. All right, but January 28th. Again, thank you to all my subscribers. Let's take a look here for a minute at the scenery around us. Before we go. And here, fly this up. Here we go. Here we are. So this is, let's see. More ways. This is a great beach. I think in the summer, locals do come here more and lay out. But wow. Look at the windows on that house. Like, wow. Okay. Have a great day. Hope you're having a great year so far. On my way here, on the telephone line, there was a white owl sitting. That was kind of neat to see. And, uh, be aware of the wildlife that's around you. There's crow, two crows there. And it's about 3.30, get close to four. And now it's turning the other way. Have a good one. Until the next video, stay safe. And remember, it's a great world out there. You've got to explore it.